This morning on AM, celebrity hairstylist Jose shows you... 25 minutes from now on KABC-TV, Los Angeles. Stay with Channel 7 and be an eyewitness to history. Today on AM, celebrity hairstylist Jose Ebert with the latest trends in winter hairstyles. Paul Michael Glazer talks about his new play. David Wolichinski with an intimate look at the lives of celebrities. Larry Nicola shows you how to brew a perfect cup of coffee. And now, here are Paul Moyer and Tawny Little. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Thank you very much. And oh, here is the perfect cup of coffee right here. That's what you think. They finally, <laughs> you it, they yeah. finally got it in the air, didn't they? Right. Huh? The space shuttle is up. A little bit late, but little bit late cooking. At uh, about, not about, it was exactly 7.10 this morning that astronauts Engel and Truly lifted off the launch pad at Cape Canaveral in the Space Shuttle Columbia, and it's been a long wait for those guys. You know, That's something right. that week must have been kind of tough, oh. waiting to go, not After knowing if they were going to do it. Years of anticipation, just, you know, the butterflies must have been incredible. Engel had to wait 15 years <laughs> to fly that <laughs> thing. He really did. He was an X-15 pilot, and he was one of the best, uh, along with uh, Jaeger. Remember him way back in the 1960s? What they call him, the, well, you're too. <laughs> <laughs> best me. stick and rudder man. Uh, on the force. But yeah. I'm as old as the space program, so I, all, I was born the same year as the space program, so I always You're know how long we've been in space. As the space program. We're going to put you in orbit. Put me in orbit. I've been in there. orbit. I have been <laughs> you in have. orbit. I know I'm you have. I'm in orbit right now. And we are going to talk about that. No, <laughs> oh, we're not. Born? No, we're not. We've got a little tape of the space shuttle going Love up. I, I know that a lot of you it. probably have seen this. I got up this morning. Here it there is. It is. T minus 13 and counting. You know, I always get the chills when I was listening to the countdown. Boy, I don't know what it is, and your eyes kind of well up a little bit. It's We've so seen so many of these, but each well, one is exciting. Here it goes. Yeah, there it is. Ignition. Just phenomenal. Look at that. And Frank Reynolds and the uh, commentators on ABC this morning got really excited about this one. It's point. always stirring. There it goes. It's gorgeous. Look at it. It looks like it's going so slowly. I know. Oh. And then all of a sudden it'll pick up speed. It leaves a, 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 I guess, a vapor trail, you might call it. And supposedly already those rockets have come down in the Indian Ocean. You know, the booster rockets? Right. They've already landed in the Indian Ocean. Right, they'll Ocean. separate it about uh, two minutes. We probably won't see that. No. Amazing to me how far the camera this morning could follow the shuttle. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Gosh. So right about now. Miles an hour. Well, right about now they're doing about 900. It just builds as it goes along. And the G-forces uh, get uh, ever greater and greater. Look at that shot. Isn't that beautiful? That's amazing. I've never seen them shoot something like that before. This is the first time, isn't it, from up in the air? Yeah. We've seen it? Well, they got a shot from the, one of the chase planes. Yeah. Uh, they have chase planes up there that uh, they can't stay with a shuttle very long. But there you go, 764 miles an hour. You'd think right now they're going faster, wouldn't you? Yeah, you It looks would. like it. Uh -huh. But uh, through the uh, kind of a cloud cover there, and I think we'll get another shot from up above. You know, I wonder if at any time we're going to be able to see... I remember the last time that the space shuttle went up, you could look up in the sky and see the little rings that it was making every once in a while in its orbits. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, you could. I wonder if we can this time. I Let's don't know. Find we'll out. find out. Maybe Gene knows. It's going to be up there for five days. They have a lot of experiments to perform up there. We have... Uh, our man, our expert, Gene Gleason, who's a buddy of mine, also a pilot, who is uh, covering this launch from Edwards Air Force Base uh, out in the desert there where the shuttle will land. Columbia will come down uh, on Tuesday. Uh, got Gino on the phone, I think. Gene, good morning. Yeah, how are you, Paul? Fine, how are you? How did it look from over there, Gene? Well, it looked wonderful. Uh, it's always nice to see it go up successfully, isn't it? Yeah. It sure is. What was the reaction from uh, the folks that you're with there at Edwards? Well, of course, everybody has been sitting on pins and needles waiting for the launch, and uh, there isn't much they can do until it actually does go up into space. And uh, now that it did so, so successfully this morning, they are just making their preparations, fine-tuning, if you will, uh, all the things that they have to do here at Edwards Air Force Base to bring it back down again on Tuesday. It'll come down shortly after 11 o'clock on Tuesday morning. It was scheduled originally to come down uh, a little earlier than that, uh, but... A because of the two and a half hour to an hour 40 minute delay this morning uh, because of the attempts to fix that uh, digital problem that they had uh, flying it out from Palmdale, the 36 pound uh, computer part. Right. Uh, it is now being delayed uh, that two and a half hours, two hours and 40 minutes. It's interesting as we watch these pictures of uh, the orbiter going up into space for the second time to note that this is a, a, just as it has
historic uh, mission as the first one. Historic in the sense that uh, Columbia is the first spacecraft to ever do it twice. Uh, traditional spacecraft go up and uh, most of the parts come falling back into the ocean or stay up into space with uh, the manned missions at least uh, coming back just in the little tiny capsule. That was the only thing they brought back. Now, of course, we have this uh, new generation, this, uh, this very, very technologically advanced uh, uh, item, the shuttle and uh, the tanks and the solid uh, fuel booster rockets. Uh, it goes up into space, flies around, does its experimentation, puts its uh, satellites into orbit, picks up other satellites that may be broken, uh, brings them into the cargo bay, and then brings them back down like an airplane. It's like a big freighter, and uh, somebody called it a space truck, and I think that's a perfect description. <laughs> space for it. truck? That's right. But didn't we hear they're having just a few problems right about now, Gene? Well, uh, uh, there's some uh, semantic problem here that it uh, may not be problems. They're just uh, little glitches, uh, mm -hmm. I think we call them in the media, and I think they probably do too in the space business. They had a little uh, uh, hassle with one of the cameras inside the uh, cargo bay, and uh, uh, the last I saw, the, c the camera went on, so we should have good pictures from space. The things to watch for now, however, are the opening of the doors, which they'll do, which they did in the first mission, and then later on they'll bring that big uh, manipulator arm that later uh, later missions will be used to uh, take uh, payloads out of the bay and place them into space. They will work that in the first two and a half days uh, that they're up in space. Uh, just to make sure that it works, they won't actually pick anything up with it, but it'll be uh, going back and forth, and uh, it'll be interesting to watch, and we should have good pictures of it. Okay, my friend. You've enjoyed it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And I know if, uh, you're a pilot, so am I, and I know that uh, that we get awful excited when we see that thing go. We wish we were with him, don't we, Gina? Boy, I'll tell you, you it, sends a, it sends a chill <laughs> up my spine every time I watch it, and I know it does you, too. I, I, I could just feel the control yoke. Uh, those guys are probably having a ball up there. Right, stick and rudder. Need a ball at <laughs> airspeed. Okay, Gene. Stick rudder, computer, and all. Okay. Okay. Take care, Gene. Talk Thank to you, later. my friend. Boy, I tell you, he's 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 Gene. He knows a lot about this space program. He's been covering it for a long he time. Sure he's a very knowledgeable guy. Gene Gleason from Edwards Air Force. You can Airport sign space. up. You can. Actress Sandy Duncan tomorrow at nine.